All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakak with Das. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's Shashir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? I want to go on this lesson. Okay? Basically, if you are a woman and you have a man, okay? Whether you think that he's just a friend or um, if you're taken or whatever the case may be. If you have a man, us here at Great Millstone, we're not going to be sitting down and teaching you. Okay, we're not going to be your friend. We don't do the female friend thing. Okay, um, we're not uh, uh, some simps. Okay. Uh, we're not, uh, 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 cause that's a, it goes into adultery and I'm gonna touch in on that, um, uh, on this lesson. Okay. But, um, basically you women, um, if you want to learn anything as the scriptures say, you need to go learn at home from that man that you, that you deal with. Okay. But if you have a man that you're dealing with, we're not going to be teaching you. We're not going to be your friend. We're not going to be. Uh, going out and or, or, or anything you're not you're not um we don't deal with the whole woman thing in in the congregation okay now you got brothers that have women okay but there's a certain order to 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 things man okay and i'm again to that in this lesson okay because you got a lot of these women who want to be uh platonic friends okay what you can be platonic friends, you know, but in this truth, this is not, the, that's not the goal, okay, which platonic, okay, goes back to a Greek philosopher named Plato, okay, um, broad shoulder, um, to spread, okay, um, his original name was Aristocles, the meaning free of sensual desire, which the word usually carries nowadays is a renaissance notion. It is based on Plato's written and symp symposium about the kind interest Socrates took in young men, which originally had no reference to women. Okay, and I believe Socrates was uh, a man. Okay. Socrates. Okay. So this, this saying... Didn't go to, to no women, man. Okay? But you got women out here that, you know, you may you may be a fine-looking woman, but you expect guys not to, to, to want you. You know? And that's off, man. You know? And this, this truth, this is a, a sensual thing, man. Okay? To get deep into these scriptures and to, to understand this word, as far as a man... Well, for a woman, and act, as a woman, you have to apply this word, man. Okay? You, you got to apply this word onto your life. Okay? And you have to get sensual with this word. You know? So, I'm going to get that that uh, definition. Okay? Um, uh, Of or arousing gratification of the senses and physical, especially sexual and pleasure. Okay, so so in this truth, okay, when when a man teaches his, teaches a woman this word or teaches anything, okay, this is this is supposed to be a sensual thing, man. Okay, when dealing with the woman, you know, you want to learn anything, you gotta you gotta learn from your man. Okay, now I'm gonna get this scripture, Matthew five and twenty seven. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay. The word adultery, okay, it says to commit adultery, to be an adulterer, to commit adultery, have unlawful sexual inter intercourse with another's wife, okay? So, so if you're, a, a nut, if you have a man, okay, with, with, fuck whatever this, this society says, okay, you need a paper and a ring, nah, the Bible says that if you're, having sex with that man 
that that's your that's your husband okay and and uh, and uh, adultery is a man having sex with another man's woman okay the all that boyfriend and girlfriend shit you gotta throw that out the window okay if you have a man you're not supposed to be having no uh friends male friends that's off man okay and i'm gonna get into that too okay but Adultery is a man having sex with another man's woman, okay? Now, it says, But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, has committed adultery with her already in his heart, okay? And what it, what, what is this? This is saying that if a woman has a man already, and a and a and a guy is looking at her like God damn she fat as shit, you know like yeah, I want to get up in that, which is it's natural, okay, for a man to 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 uh want that especially if a woman looks good you gonna want you gonna want to uh look at it like that, you know, that's when the, that's when it's wrong when you lusting after another man's woman or another man's possession, okay, and it says that if a man look on a woman to lust after her. A man that a, a a woman that already has a man like God dang yo I, you know I know she got a man but I want to fuck her man you already committing adultery we don't deal with that man if a woman has a a, a man we say get get away man okay you want to learn this word I'm gonna get that scripture John four and fifteen the woman said unto him sir give me this water okay this when we go out and we we teach okay one of the things we say to you women. Do you have a man? Okay, because you some women will sit up there and they'll come and they'll want they'll want us to give them the water. Okay, with the breaking down the scriptures and you know everything that it says that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Yeah, the one who you ignorantly call Jesus is Yah, which his name is Yahweh Shah, said unto her, Go call your husband and come hither. Okay? So go call your man. You want to learn this word? Go call your man. And tell him come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yahweh Shah said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no hu husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not your husband. And that saidest thou truly. Okay? So so we don't deal with, with women that, that have men. And you got women, this woman... You know, she was saying that she, she didn't have a man, okay? But the Lord said that you had five husbands. And the and the man that you with right now, he's not even your husband. You just you you probably, you know you fucking him and shit like that, you know. You that's not your husband, but you 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 doing some, some old trifling shit. And that's what a lot of you women, you know, are out here doing. Okay? So we say, hey, you wanna learn? Go bring your man. And we'll teach them. And if if it's we we out here to reach the men, okay? Not the not the woman. If if you if you don't have a man, you know you better get with one of the brothers and, and that brother teach you. You know, we don't we don't uh, promote breakups and, and stuff here. You know, a a uh, great millstone. Okay. First First Corinthians fourteen and four thirty four. It says, "Let your woman keep silence in the churches when you see." The men out there on the corners teaching, okay, that's the church, man. Not these bullshit-ass buildings, okay, with the church pastor in there, okay, and the women hooting and hollering and stuff, okay. That's when, when you see men out there on the corners teaching, that's the church, man. It says, let the woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also save the law, Right? This is talking about the laws that are in the scriptures, not the laws that are in this bullshit ass uh, society. Because there is no law that tells women that they should be uh, silent. Okay? And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. So if a woman, if you want to learn anything, go ask your husband. Go ask your man. Okay? He's supposed to be teaching you. Not, not no uh, church pastor. Okay? He's supposed to be teaching you. Not not your, your uh, school teacher. Okay? You're supposed to be learning from your man. Okay? 
says learn anything. Everything you're supposed to be learning from your man. Okay? And like I say, if you don't got if 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 you want to learn, you bring your man, okay, to to the men of the Lord, okay? And we teach him. Okay? For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Okay? This is another another scripture, okay? Because we don't deal with that whole female friend bullshit, man. Okay? And that's really all it is, is bullshit. Okay? Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiastic cuss. Okay? 9 verse 8. Turn away your eye from a beautiful woman. And like I said, you got a lot of beautiful women out here. Okay? That 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 I have a man, but always fronting like they single. Okay, so we not supposed to be even you know worried about these these women. Oh, just because they look good. Okay, that we supposed to um we supposed to give them some more respect than the next woman. Okay, Um, this is uh, Proverbs 31 and 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Okay, and we can tell whether a woman fears the Lord or not. We can't pour the wool over, over our eyes. Okay, so it says, turn away your eye from a beautiful woman. All that beauty can get taken away, man, if you ain't, if you ain't humble. And look not upon another's beauty. Okay, what's another's beauty? A woman that's already taken, okay? That that's that adultery, okay? It says, uh, for many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman, for herewith love is kindled as a fire. Okay? And it's not just because, okay, we sit up here teaching a woman and um you know uh where we we uh, looking on a woman like, yo, like, damn, like, yo, like, she, you know, thick as I don't know what. You know, I, I want to get with her. I want to, you know, I want a piece of that. Right? You got women out here that will actually, because they, their God don't know anything. They feel like, oh, my God don't know this. So, you know, I want, I want, I want to get with a guy that, that do know it. And that's adultery too. Because you got a lot of adulterous women out here. Okay? Um, says sit not at all with another man's wife. Okay, so so if a woman, if you have a man, we're not supposed to be going out on dates and stuff with you, man. Okay, we ain't supposed to be sitting at the same table with you. Nor sit down with her in your arms. You got a lot of that shit going on, especially at the work work environment. Okay, and spend not your money with her at the wine. Let's, and and that's what goes on also when, when when people going out to the clubs or going out, you don't know whether or not that woman um at that club has a man or not, you know, and nine times out of ten they do. It says, "Lest your heart incline onto her, and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction." Okay, so you don't want to be sitting that with another man's woman, okay. That, that'll get you destroyed, man. Okay? You desiring another man's possession. Okay? This is our 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. For God, y'all by some of y'all sides, not the author of confusion. And women will bring that confusion. Okay? But of peace is in all the church in all churches of the saints. Okay? So once again, that whole idea of a platonic friendship you know that's all bullshit okay it ain't even they don't even mean what the hell these women think that it mean okay a, a, a man that that uh is is you know interested or or, or, or with a woman in any shape form or fashion it's supposed to be in essence it, uh, uh it's supposed to be sensual okay it's supposed to you know get aroused from a woman because that's what the fuck women was made for man you know you know, it don't even have to. If if I'm sitting up here and I'm teaching a woman, okay, the the the, the goal is for you as a woman to to be applying this word. 
I'm not going to be teaching a, a woman, okay? And I'm not saying this because I personally went through it. I'm just doing this for edification, okay? I'm not going to be um, teaching another woman and trying to build her up to be uh, the wife for another man, you know? Because because that's off too. If you if if a man is teaching and and if you doing that, you got to get some balls, man. You got to know when to stop stop that shit, man. You know. If if the woman want want to learn this 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 word, then go go to a a man, okay, or go get your man, okay, and you learn it like that, okay, and you apply that word and you end up being that man's uh, woman, okay. And you do as the scriptures say. But all that third party and middleman, all that bullshit, that's not of this truth, man. That's confusing, and the Lord ain't the author of that. That's Satan, man. Okay? So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.